Thornberry, a state finalist of this year. Also, Mr. Grayson Clark of Kakana in the finals. Tremoli, a two time state finalist, is a state champion as well. He's committed to the University of Wyoming, Jake, so he'll be joining Mr. Braden Sonnenteg yep. out of Kadat. And boom, right away, there's some, some, some action there. That's a one point push out. Tremoli. What's pretty crazy is that AWA could have had Clark in the lineup, could have had Skulls. So there is. A lot of firepower that both of these rosters probably could have had. And there's another score there for Chimoli. Up next, we'll have Jake Stoffel, state champ, taking on Kale Robb. That match will be at 160 pounds. And then also at 160 pounds, we'll have Stelt versus Bornhart. And then we'll be in our intermission break. So three, two more matches after this one and a short break. There's two more points for Pinnacle there. Makes it 5-0, which is about two minutes left in the first. <coughs> Here, ref calling for action on, for the top man. Wants him to score some points. Let's look at the trainer out here. Take a quick look at Thorn Barry. And obviously, Jake, you, you look at the list of matches we have here tonight. You Look at the seven ranked matches first, but I think Stelt versus a Bornhold, one of the unranked matches that I'm most looking forward to. Even just in general, out of all 20 matches, Stelt wrestlers improved greatly, of course, being from Fenimore. He's familiar with that Greco scene, translates well over to freestyle. Just seemed like he was on a whole other level from the rest of his class this year. And Bornhold, I've got to see him wrestle a couple of times as well. Just the energy that he's able to maintain. You talk about someone with a high motor. That's going to make for a fun match here to close out the first half of this duel. Yes, and I've gotten the, the chance to see Stelt and, and Mitchell Messenbrink have some goes in the room. And wow, do they keep a pace. So Stelt's ready. He's going to bring the pace. Heavy, heavy hands. And as you said, it, it very well-versed in Greco. He's a cadet Greco Fargo champ. So that's all you need to know about him. He has the ability to throw and score a lot of points. So excited for that one. And then also his teammate, Evan Grotz, that heavyweight. He'll be um, the second match after the break. And if you know anything about him, he can score from the throws. I think he might have thrown his way to the state title this year. Got a big bomb in the finals to pick up his state title. So these Fenimer boys can, can wrestle in all positions, especially in those upper body ties. So excited to watch them scrap here in a few matches. We've got Chamoli looking here to score on the edge. We're going to go one point red. That'll make it 6-0 now with minute 22 left. <coughs> and yeah, the Chamoli just all over Thornberry here. Moving his hands really well. Changing levels. Able to Get to the legs. Thornberry, a good athlete, which uh, just makes me even more impressed. The quickness of Charmoli yes. right now. That's one of those wrestlers where it looks like he's just always at least a half step ahead of his opponent. But can't count out Mr. Uh, Reese Wild Thornberry. We've got 50 seconds left in this first period. And there's another shot there for Charmoli. Brings it up to the feet. Little wizard. But... Nada able to defend 8-0 here. He's going to look gut. See if he can end this one early. He does have that leg locked up there. He looks like he's going to load his feet, and we're going to go back up to the feet here. Twenty-eight seconds left in the first. 8-0 lead right back to the leg. Brings it high, dumps it for two. And that's your match. Chomley with a 10-0 tech, and that's another victory for Pinnacle.